Hello, hello everyone. Um, good morning again in the name of Jesus Christ. How are you doing today? Uh, it's a happy day. Every day we wake up, we just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just give glory to Him because we are alive. We give glory to Him because He is God. We give glory to Him because we sleep and we wake up. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, um, I want to share with you um, to start the reading and going through the book of Hebrews. The book of Hebrews. But before we start, can we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your awesomeness. We thank you for your power. We thank you for the word of life that you have given to us, that you have made available for us. May your name be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. As we go into your word, Holy Spirit, you will minister to us, to our soul, to our mind, and our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word marinate our heart. Let it nourish our souls and bear good fruit in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone. Welcome to this section again. Like I said, I'm yours, Michael Oyetomi. And I want to begin to go through the series of uh, the book of Hebrew. So we're going to look at the book of Hebrew. But before we do that, I love to sing this song. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. Oh, what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Truth Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen in Jesus' name. Brother, like I said, you want to look at, start to look at the series on the book of Hebrews. So we're going to start from chapter 1 up to the end, which is chapter 13. The book of Hebrew has 13 chapters. So we're going to look at these 13 chapters uh, as a series. Um, I'm not going to be looking at one chapter uh, per section. It could be like five verses, 10 verses, depends on how it is uh, grouped. But today I just want to lay the foundation um, and look at who is the author of the book of Hebrews. The author of the book of Hebrews. The scholars have um, put it together and agreed that the author will be Paul the Apostles. Paul the Apostles is the author of the book of Hebrew. Apostle Paul. So, and you can look at where was this book written, the book of Hebrew. The book of Hebrew was written when Paul was in was in Italy, in the journey of uh, of his missionary work. Then he was in Italy. Then he wrote the book of Hebrews. Then again, I want to look at why was he written. Have you checked that? Why was he written? Because every books in the Bible have reasons why they were written. Some are written to encourage people. Some are written as a letter. Some are written because of the situation that is happening, just warning people. Some are written as a warning. Some are written as an information. Some are written as to tell God's uh, to tell God's people, God's mind. So the book of Hebrew was written by Paul to to encourage the people that are in, that were in the Hebrews. <coughs> Excuse me. They were written to the Hebrews. And by the way, the Hebrews are the descendants of Israel. It was Jacob, then Israel. So Paul wrote this book to them 
to encourage them at that time. And the reason why they wrote it is because they are going, they were, they have gone through a lot of persecutions. And now the remainder, the remainants of these people, of the Hebrews, from Jacob to Israel, they've gone through persecution. Now the descendants are also going through persecution. And Paul has to write this book to them, the book of Hebrews, to encourage them that I know you've gone through persecution and already you can see persecution coming. Um, don't be afraid. And how to encourage them with this book of Hebrews. Um, you know, we look at it into our, in our own days now. What is also happening? I see Paul is writing to us at this time, but I'm not going to go into all the details now. Just want to look at the, give us the background of this uh, of the book of Hebrew, written by Paul. Why Paul was in Italy, and it was written to encourage the Hebrews. It was written to encourage the Hebrews, and it was dated back um, AD seventy. Although there are some that says AD sixty five. Between AD 65, AD 70, the AD means after death, after death, after Christ's death, AD uh, 70. This book of Hebrew was written to encourage the Hebrews. Now, in this series, we're going to look at, I'm going to look at various series. In As we look at the series, as we look at the uh, the books, this, these are the things that we're going to be bringing out of it by the by the grace of god and by the spirit of the lord how do these texts apply to us these days we're going to look at in the context of the book of hebrews so at every verses that we'll be looking at you you're going to be thinking about it i'm going to be thinking about it how does this text apply to us at this time and also we're going to look at what can we do in line of this test what are the, what what should be our response to this test? What will be what should be our response to what is happening now or what is to come? What should be our response? You're going to look at this in the context of this book of Hebrew. Also, how do we prepare for the persecution? How do we prepare for what is coming? How do we prepare for the trial times? How do we prepare for the challenges? How do we prepare? We're going to look at this as well, and also. We're going to look at what exactly will be the persecution. What is going to be the persecution? Is it going to be uh, food? Is it going to be transport? Is it going to be traveling of any kind? Is it going to be housing? What is going to be the persecution? We're going to look at that also in the in the context of this book of Hebrews. Of course, we're going to reference to other books of the Bible as well to guide ourselves by the Spirit of God. And also, this is very important. Um, who is going to be the persecutor? Who are the people that are going to be the persecutor? Is it going to be your, your friends? Is it going to be your parents? Is it going to be your children? Is it going to be uh, government? Is it going to be Satan? You know, is it going to be system? Is it going to be family? Who knows? Who is going to be the? Who is going to be these persecutors that will come in various forms? We're going to look at all this as well in the context of the book of Hebrew and also expand it to other books as we lay references by the grace of God. So I want you to please, in the next uh, episode, we're going to start to launch into the book of Hebrew. I'm, I'm going to tell you now that I'm going to look at, we're going to look at chapter, Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1, verse 1 to 4. We're going to look at Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. So please get yourself ready. Uh, you can read that Hebrew already, study it, so that when we come back, as I'll be speaking about the grace of God, you can also uh, say whatever you want to say. You can say whatever you want to say, all right? Um, and also ensure that you follow this, ensure that you follow this so that you don't miss any series of this book of Hebrew. I can tell you this is a very powerful book that you need, that I need at this time to go through by the faith in God. You need this book at this time. Everybody needs this book at this time. I don't care who you are, whether adult, whether youth, male or female, if you are a pastor, if you are a bishop, 
wherever you are, you need this book at this time. So by the Spirit of the Lord, we're going to go through this book. And I implore you to please follow this series to the end. And God will bless your soul in the name of Jesus Christ. May I pray at this, for this section that Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. That your name and power is with us. And your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as we go through your word, you will speak to us. You will empower our soul in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as we examine your word, Lord, let the reality of your word, let the power of your word, let the spirit of your word make impact in our life and give us that strong faith to stand at this time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. May the Lord Almighty bless you until you meet again in the next episode where we look at Hebrew chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. God bless you.